What's going on, bro? DR3W. Wavy of the waviest. What's going on, man? Yeah, man, I got a little breakdown. CT. Dezil. What's going on? Got a little breakdown tonight, man. I want to help on. Um, Brian, what's going on, man? I want to help on um, all... Uh, the beginning waivers, uh, I drew out a chart and everything tonight. So, um, I want to just encourage everybody, man. You know, there's a whole lot going on right now, uh, with, uh, COVID and, uh, also the protesting. I'm praying everybody is safe, man. And, um, a change will come man, and, uh, that there'll be justice for, um, George Floyd. And uh, going forward, man, all this stuff won't happen. Um, but we know it, it just, stuff like this don't just uh, change overnight. Hey, Candy, Reggie, what's going on? I'm gonna wait for a few more people to come in and I'm gonna go ahead and, and get started. I drew out a chart and everything, man. I wanna just help our uh, waivers um, get a better understanding of how to get some progress with your waves and uh maintain the progress and just keep growing and growing and growing so while we waiting do a little brushing man if you got your brushes with you oh yeah i just did a cut today man six six week wolfing is is over with Woo! jeez Blessed by an angel, how you doing? Stoy Kimoy, what's up? <laughs> 2K20 guy, what's going on? Yeah, man. Paid off. B Kai, what's going on? Yeah, man. Just got up got, got out of a six-week wolf. I chopped off. I dropped it down to a two. And Looks like I'm swimming. Looks like I'm swimming. All right, man, if you have your brushes with you and you feel like joining me in this session, let the brushing begin. Wait till like a few more people to jump on. And uh, I'm gonna get started, man, I'm gonna get started. Um, Zay Zay, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, I still got the, I still got the wave ladder, man. Still got the wave bladder. Um, we, we we are fully in stock, man. Go to the website and order yours today. Order yours today. All right, man. So I'm gonna get started, man. I'm gonna get started, and I'm gonna turn the the, the camera around. All right. Yeah, yeah. Don't laugh at my drawing, man. Don't laugh at my drawing. D Devon, what's going on? LL Cool, what's going on? All right, so hopefully everybody can see this this layout, uh, this, this, this chart. All right, so I'm gonna break it down and I'm gonna leave this up for 24 hours. You'll be able to go back and replay it. I just wanna give um, a little uh, explanation on why you woof, why, why it's important to woof, and also um, what you're dealing with when you're woofing, when is the best time to use a hard brush, medium, or softy? Um, and uh, it's pretty much it. So look, let me get started and I'm uh, can't get to buy it. I don't have any money. I'm all the way from Jamaica. All right. I'm going to be doing a, a promo code again soon. So don't worry, wavy of the waviest. Um, We'll make something happen. Matter of fact, um, y'all drop in the comments if y'all want me to do a giveaway. Do a giveaway, man. Um, next month. What's going on, Terrence? What's going on? All right. So um, I'm gonna get started on this 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 chart, man. What I got here? Three beasts. Three. What's going on? Big Easy. What's going on? All right. So as you can see. Uh, 
the title is uh wild wolfing you know why why wolf i didn't put why wolf but wild wolfing um you're dealing with three layers my drawing is not the best but um you pretty much get the idea so when somebody's wolfing wolfing consists of you know like if you wear your hair at a number one and a half guard and this is you know waivers for waivers uh or anybody you wear that one and a half guard so you you go past that time length that you, you would usually um get a cut usually a, a typical haircut lasts from uh two weeks so every two weeks um uh, the average person would be getting a haircut but in the wave community um to achieve uh more progress with your waves you have to exceed that time length that you would go into um, getting a haircut every two weeks. So we call it wolfing. Some people wolf for, you know, especially if you're a beginner, four to six weeks. Um, Cause there is a such thing as over wolfing and that's where your hair um, can no longer be tamed anymore um, because of one thing, it's not trained to be laid in that fashion yet, or um, it is trained, but you, you've lost visibility of your waves. All right, so let me go into uh, this first uh, illustration right here. So the green um, that I drew out is a new growth. This is the hair that you cannot see. So when you're wolfing, you're dealing with primarily three layers okay you got the new growth which is closest to the scalp is coming from um the bed below the bed of the scalp and then you got the mid layer and then you got the top layer so everybody sees the top layer this is the top layer that everybody sees this is what's most visible all right so when you're dealing with um the new growth the only bristles that can get that far down are the hard brush so that's why uh, you would hear elite waivers recommend not to use the hard brush when you're only dealing with two layers, right? Or after a haircut, right? You're not in a wolf. So to get down to this, this uh, the new growth uh, layer, you gotta get a hard brush or also incorporate some combing. Now combing comes into play when your hair is typically trained. And what are we training? We're training your natural curl pattern. Um, there is three types of curl patterns. There's tight, there's a uh, medium, and then there's a uh, loose, which in our community, we identify them as a coarse hair waver, a medium hair waver, or a straight hair waver. And so those are just three different types of curl patterns. Like me, obviously I'm a tight, uh, my curl pattern is tight. Uh, it took me a while to figure out what works best with my hair as far as products and um, developing a routine and brushing my hair. All right, so now the new growth. I'm sorry if I, I know comments are coming. I'm gonna come jump behind the camera and, and look. Um, I have the camera facing this way for the chart. It just looked better on the screen. So. Let me check real quick to see. We got comments. Top Shelf, what's going on? 3FP Tech V, what's going on, Floyd? What's going on, Marco? Okay, Wavy Joe, what's going on? All right, so, all right. So that new growth layer, the only bristles that could reach it is the hard brush slash combing. Um, and then, your mid layer would be your medium texture bristles. Um, and then you have the top layer, which is visible to everybody, including yourself. You use a softy brush for that layer. Okay, so every bristle is designed to target a certain layer. So this debunks the, the question, um, well, can I just use one brush to, to do it all? Yeah and no. Um, because again, like if you're woofing a softy, a softy is not going to be able to penetrate past the second layer to get down to the, the, the first layer, which is the new growth. 
So you can't use a softy, only a softy, while you're wolfing. It's, it's just gonna be very difficult to pull that hair through. What you what are you doing? Okay, there's two positions where the hair is in. So naturally your hair, your curl pattern is in the standing position. It does what it what it wants. You don't tell it what to do. So this is why you'll hear waivers say you gotta do a lot of brushing. And most of your results come from brushing your hair. But you gotta have a routine and you have to understand what each brush do, what it targets, what layer it targets, all right? So in the standing position, like when you say you put some product in your hair, your hair, your curl, natural curl pattern is gonna show while it's standing up, all right? So what does brushing do? Brushing lays it down, okay? It forces, it's not from, it's, it forces the hair to move from its natural position to a trained position to lay down, okay? So that's that's the goal. Now, with, with wolfing, why do you wolf? All right, obviously, when you have a short amount of um, hair, the, it's a shorter distance, okay? So I don't know if you can see this, I kind of drew, uh, maybe I gotta zoom in a little bit, but in the standing position, this is the amount of hair you have to work with. And when it's laid, this is the distance that it goes. So it goes from this position to that position. So now you can see this hair length is longer, so the distance is further. So longer length, longer distance that the hair is. And then also you create more depth in your waves, all right? So you go from ripples to deep waves. But it, it's, it's all about woofing, right? And then woofing is not always necessary, you know, when you get to a point, unless you wanna shift your waves, you can wolf to shift, but uh, a common way to do that is scalping. You drop everything down and you start from a, a shorter length, right? And so, um, to all my beginner waivers, man, this is just one of my, you know, vlogs. I'm just trying to uh, see what you guys need help on, okay? Um, uh, there's a lot of other uh, elite waivers. I feel like my my uh, my audience or the group of people that I need to be targeting or helping out is beginner waivers. Um, and as you can see, I just came out of a, a wolf myself. I did this for six weeks. I dropped it down to a two. Um, I would be considered a coarse hair waiver. Um, I'm gonna drop more content, man. Um, different content on what products I've been using and um, is it all about products, you know, or uh, is it something else? So uh, drop some some comps, some uh, questions in the comment and I'm gonna try to answer them right now. T-Mo, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, man, I put a mask on the man. <laughs> yeah, that's my boy, Mo Vision 824 L. Jeffy. That kid was going on. Uh, drop some questions in the comment um, section, man. If you have anything, <laughs> you know, you know, I got it. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm real technical, uh, Timo. Yeah, drop some comments. That that was a a, a teaser top sh um, shelfy. That was a teaser. You are gonna have to catch me on the next live, um, for the. Jason, okay, I won't, I won't delete it. <laughs> no problem, man. Uh, Timo, you know we could always collab, man. Um, I know you got some great tips for straight hair waivers, man. Um, he be holding it down. Uh, pomade required. Um, early stages of waving. Um, uh, untrained hair. Uh, what the purpose of the pomade is to hold in place, um, the work that you put in. Uh, with, uh, let me turn this camera around, sorry. Um, the work that you put in with brushing, all right? Right now, at this stage of, of my waving journey, I don't use um, pomade as much. Um, most of it is not natural. And so, um, it kind of uh, leaves a buildup on your hair and so forth. But it's like a... Uh, uh, 
you know, when you're trying to bulk, um, when you try to bulk, when you uh, lift the weights and stuff like that, um, you eat dirty, you know, and then you get to a place where you get to the size that you want. You know, you got your gains, so now you start eating clean. So that's kind of how like using pomade in the wave game is. Um, am I going to Wolf for the first time in my hair already trained? Yeah, wolfing, you can do this, you can wolf continuously, man. Um, you know, beginner or elite. I'm trying to teach them how to brush from a low length right now, bro. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um this is this is a uh, constant, man. You got to you got to keep what's the best way to start off if you're a beginner waver. Um okay, um one thing I didn't touch on the video so far in this live is the importance of a uh, washing style method. There's uh, plenty of videos online, um, but you want to do that. You want to um, jump on the washing style method to uh, get your hair um, trained because when the hair is wet, um, there's this thing called S bonds, uh, which is the natural uh, the building blocks of your hair. So you can temporarily change the S bonds while it's in the wet state and train the hair. Um, okay, I'm going to do a week wolf for the first time. Should I do it and how? Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Um, you can simply, um, you see how I, I have the three layers. Let me turn the camera around. The three layers. This is how you're going to do it. You got to have a routine. The next week, let's work on something together. Definitely will, Timo. Definitely will. Um, but while wolfing, as you can see, that, that top layer, that's when you're using your softy. Mid layer is the, the medium brush and then uh, new growth. The the key is targeting that new growth, especially while you're wolfing. That new growth is what's challenging. All right. And that's what makes everything above look crazy. Uh, but you're going to have to incorporate. Um, uh, if you was doing washing style once per week, you got to bump it up to two, um, two times per week. And you have to make sure that you double compress. What is double compressing? Uh, it's using a do rag to um, get you that first lay in, and maybe a boo boo cap or uh, uh, a wave cap, um, because that's a lot of hair you're trying to tame and and pack down and um, and and go from the standing position to the laying position. But you'll know when it's time to. Uh, to cut your wolf, um, your visibility will start to go away. Um, yeah, I'm still talking to you, Wavy of the Waviest. Um, Fo, what's going on, little Chris? What's going on? Yeah. So your visibility will start to go away, and then you know you'll know uh, when it's time to cut your wolf. Um, and again, um, it's not in just the wolfing; it's just having a routine. Okay. Say you're not wolfing. So now you're just dealing with two layers. So now these two layers, the the the, the brush, uh, uh, the type of bristles that you will use at these two layers now, it changes. So um, I'm kind of ahead of myself. That my next video or my next live, I'm talking about after a haircut. So now, say this this top layer is gone. You're not wolfing no more. You just got a haircut. I just got a haircut, right? So now it shifts. Okay. The new growth, I'll be using a medium brush to target the new growth, and then I'll be using a softy to hit that second layer, all right? Okay, I know I didn't mention wave glider and all of this, um, but the wave glider, will, it deals with the top layer, compressing the top layer onto the, the mid layer, okay? So that would go hand in hand. I could write that right here. That will go, let me put wave glider uh, brush. That would go hand in hand with the softy because it's just laying, it's just pressing down that top layer onto both layers below it. Um, but again, uh, why wolfing? You're dealing with three layers, okay? There's a top, mid, and new growth. All right, humble Zay, Mo, Andy, 
What's going on? Yeah, any other questions? I know some of y'all are just jumping on this live. Um, I'm going to leave it up for 24 hours. And uh, I'm at, um, so you guys can replay it. Um, can you send me a wave live so I can do a review on it for free, please? Um, I'll touch bases with you after a wavy of the waviest. I'll touch bases with you. So, um, yeah, any other questions, man? Any other questions? Play this video back, man, especially if you're a beginner. Um, you can incorporate some of these, um, this knowledge to, um, if you're an elite waiver, I mean, you do this. Sometimes we do stuff and we don't understand why we do it and um, what's the purpose. But I like to kind of just peel, you know, everything back and give you a breakdown. Showtime, Devon, what's going on? Um, give you a breakdown behind it. Like, um, how do I get waves? For a long time, I was just stuck on this. And I would just see what other people were doing and just try to finagle it and figure out, um, uh, man, maybe I need to do, you know, do this or do that. You know, um, I'm trying to take the, the guessing out of it. You know what I'm saying? And Young Twin, what's going on? Showtime, what's going on? So I'm trying to take the guessing out of it because sometimes, you know, it gets discouraging, man. There's some, there's some points um, in the waving that you just you just give up because you're not you're not getting no results and i've been there um and it's tough man it's tough it's discouraging and um i finally figure out what works for me and i just want to share my knowledge with you guys um yeah i, I have a product but um my page is not just built on my product i, I want rico baby what's going on I want to um, I want to inform waivers, man. This is a culture. This is a lifestyle, man. Um, it's not going away. Waving is not going away um, because this is this is who we are, man. And and I love it, man. And um, I'm put it back on this chart. Let me see what else I didn't touch on this. Um, what else? I'm trying to to limit the information just on this topic right here, dealing with the three layers and uh and just save it for the next video because i'm gonna do another live um and uh i want to i might i might do it this week um i was thinking about just doing it once a week but um i'm excited man i figured out what works for me and it doesn't matter if you're a coarse hair waver don't matter if you are a medium hair waver or a straight hair waver um you're always gonna especially while wolfing you're always gonna have to target each layer okay three layers all right and this is the purpose of each brush you know hard brush and it sounds i'm, I'm repeating some stuff because there's some people that's just getting on the lot the hard brush deals with that new growth layer the the hidden layer that nobody can see right and the medium brush deals with that that middle layer that sits between the new growth and the top surface all right and then the softy deals with that top surface. So let me do a little another illustration. So, all right, um, I just thought of something. I'm sorry, it got to come back to me. All right, so this is of course all in a laid position. Okay, if you grab, let me do it this way so you guys can. I'm a visual learner, so let me see. I know a lot of people on here are too. So all right, so. Let's take this from a laid position. This is a laid position. Let's take it from the laid position. And then now let's put it in the standing position. All right, so this is all curl patterns, right? So this is the new growth, okay? That's the hidden layer that nobody could visibly see. All right, now this is the, the mid layer, okay? And then now this is the the surface okay so now now I took this where it's laid say I just comb my hair out and so when it's standing up it looks like this when it's laid it looks like this okay so now 
this is how it works, man. Hard brush, medium brush, softy. So I'm taking the hard, the hard brush, and let me do it this way. And um, I'm laying down the new growth, cause hair grows, hair grows. This is um, now I'm going textbook. Hair grows half an inch every month. So your hair is pretty much growing every day, right? So you have to tame it. You have to brush daily. You have to keep it laid, man. That's important. If, if not throughout the day, definitely during, during the night. So now I use the hard brush to, to deal with, or the comb to deal with that, that new growth layer. Now I'm using the medium brush to hit this. Boom. Now, either the wave glider or the softy, whichever you want to use first, I come behind it and I'm laying it down. So now, now this is also, people ask, well, how long should I brush? Some people say they brush like an hour. I don't really time it, but it, it really don't take an hour to, to get this accomplished. So, so now this is, this is what it looks like, say, initially after the shower, right? Like you, you do, you get into a brush session after the shower. You lay it down. Now you come back again. You do it again, all right? Daily. This is what you're doing daily. So now, as you see, I don't know if you guys can see, see this. So now you see the spacing between both layers. I mean, all three layers. So now the more I'm doing it, the more compacting it gets. And then the tighter those layers get right a hard brush medium brush softy and you start training it so now after say this like i just did a six week wolf right ah oh, man I'm gonna I'm put up a before and after picture if i could find one but your hair goes from you know like looking like this to like that and I know this is on paper and it it, it kind of looks weird or whatever but tsunami what's going on wet them up what's up I know I was uh some of the people Boosie what's going on so the more you train your hair daily right this what keeps happening. It, it just keeps compressing. So now when you cut it all off, just like muscle memory, your muscles get memory, your hair stops fighting with you and say, yes, I'm going to lay down now. It goes from the natural standing state to the lay down because you've been constantly training it. Okay. The hair has a mind of its own. It's been in this position, natural state for the longest and now here you are brushing it daily telling it to lay down and it's just like hold up man like i'm not used to this so you have to tell your hair to do what you want it to do and this is this is this is a breakdown man i hope this was very helpful to somebody man um listen drop comments below um slide in the dm let me know what other contents, what are you struggling with as a waiver? You know, um, elite, you know, beginner, um, message me, let me know. Cause I've been making sure I know what I'm talking about first before I can come and draw up charts. Again, I did not see nobody doing a video like this. That's why I'm doing a live and I'm leaving it up for 24 hours. Um, but I'm going to have this content, um, in full on my YouTube channel. I don't have it linked in my 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 um my bio, but it's simple. It's a wave glider. Just go to YouTube wave glider. Um, I'll have this video up there. Okay, if you're looking for this video, it'll be up on my um YouTube channel. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, share, tell everybody about it. Um, again, um, um, I'm gonna keep it 100. God gave me this idea, man, and um, how to to break it down. Okay, the knowledge is out there, the information is out there, but oftentimes as um, beginners, you know, like we just see elite waivers and we're like, man, 
um, at one time I was like, you feel intimidated. Like, man, I can never get my hair to train like that. I don't bought all this grease and all these products and stuff like that, but I don't know how to make it work for me. I don't know what routine will work for me. All right. So, um, that's my, my mission, uh, going forward. Um, they just innovating, um, wave products, make it easier for waivers to, um, get those waves that they desire to have um, by informing you and showing you illustration and demonstration so that way you can start getting the results that you're looking for. All right, man, um, I'm going to hang around for a little bit, see if uh, there's any questions in the comment section. Yeah, 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 wet them up. Um, the Wave Glider um, is uh, a compression brush. Um, again, like I did in the, the illustration here, um, after you use, say you're wolfing, after you use a hard brush, the medium brush, you can use the wave glider and then hit it with the softy. What the wave glider does is it's going to give you a, a, a closer, um, lay. Okay. Um, as you can see, let me see, uh, see the widge, the ridges. Uh, no, I'm telling you, it does. Oh, yeah, you're right. Of course, wet them up. My bad, bro. <laughs> yeah, so for the people that don't know, um, I designed these ridges right here to um, pull, you know, slightly pull that top layer, that top layer right there. Um, just give you extra lay, okay? Instead of using your hand in a plastic bag, um, I designed... Well, this is one of my prototypes, but I designed this to um, to give you a better lay, man, and um, incorporate it into your brushing routine. Um, I never falsely advertise and say, oh, well, just use my wave bladder and that's going to get you waves. And any waver knows that you need uh, bristles to pull that hair through. Yes, thank you, man. Yes, yes, I'm glad too. Um, spoiler alert, I got something that's about to drop pretty soon. Um, been working on it for the past year. Um, it is a, a wave cap. Um, and it's, it's something different from what's on the market. And it's everything I drop has to be innovative. Um, has to be a game changer, has to be something that's going to, um, help progress with your, your waves. AJ's Barbershop, what's going on? Life Ain't Cheap, what's going on? So, um, yes, this is the broadcast here, man. I know some of you guys are just jumping on. Feel free to play this back. Um, very helpful information on the, um, the three layers, dealing with the three layers while wolfing. Um, when you play it back, you'll be able to see what, you know, everything on this chart is, what I broke down. Um, how to use each um, bristle um, and what it targets um, dealing with the three layers, man. Listen, man, I love you guys, man. Stay safe, stay positive. Um, I know this is a hard time right now for um, we as black people and not just us, but just the world entirely, man. Um, just pandemic after pandemic. Um, listen, man, uh, it, it takes one person um, at a time to, to make a change, man. And um, let, let it start with us, man. Let it start with you, man. Let it start with you. Um, we can make a difference. And um, although you can't change nobody else's mind, but if you if you bring about change, man, um, it's contagious. And eventually, it'll dominate, man. It'll dominate. Uh, thank you for tuning in, man. Uh, if you found this uh, content uh, helpful, please leave a comment below, man. And I will be back with another live content on how to get waves, how to get progress, and how to maintain your waves. Thank you, man. Thank you all for supporting me. And uh, until we meet again, stay wavy, my friends. Peace.